which are emanated from the intellectual ability of an individual where he is going to invest his labor, judgment and skill and he is coming out with a particular work that needs to be protected. And this India is a member to a Berne Convention and this is a convention which contained a provision where there were certain concessions which was made to India to translate the foreign literary work to translate the foreign literary work as well as reproduction of a foreign literary work for the purpose of education. So being a member to this Berne Convention, India obtained an advantage that the foreign literary works, the concession we got, we can translate it to an languages of India as well as we can reproduce that literary works only for the purpose of education. And later on, certain North American states were not a member to this particular Berne Convention and an idea was mooted where Universal Copyright Convention, a convention which can cover within its purview, within its scope, almost all the members of the nation. So a Universal Copyright Convention came into existence to which also India is a signatory and in 1995, trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights, which is one facet, one limb of WTO. So, in an international scenario, this is the various conventions to which India is a member, and strictly we are adhering to the principles 